What's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. El Shadal Construct has returned to the TCG at 3 currently, right? Before our new, or at least our most recent, uh, most recent uh, TCG banlist construct was at 1, but now at 3, so you're definitely able to go on and, uh, you know, play like um, like a full Shadal deck. Of course, uh, pure Shadals isn't really that strong, needs more, needs other engines, and I'm looking at the performance engine, you know, good old school days of performance Shadals. There are other options. I've tried out other options like thunders but in, the uh, in theory it, it sounds better in theory than it than it actually is uh, the lights for thunders aren't really that great to send to the graveyard other than the level 1, I guess, but that's pretty much it. The Tenny engine has too much restrictions, or too many restrictions, so I'm not a huge fan of that anymore. Again, in theory, it sounded much better than, than in actual uh, practice. F uh, 40 card main deck with the upstart as well. Uh, I'm quite happy with the main deck. Something I've been uh, thinking about is uh, the artifact engine as well, you know, like Sanctum, Sight, uh, mainly Sight, again, prevent your opponent from playing the game, and so well, it's, it's, if you happen to draw it, it's just a light for one of your three El Shadal constructs. And three are definitely needed here. It, it's just, again, good old Shadals. Back in the old school days, if you, if you open okay as in a Shadal Fusion or El Shadal Fusion, one of the Fusion cards doesn't really matter. It, it goes really fast, you know, using um, or special summoning multiple fusions during the same turn or, or during two or three turns. Nibiru, oh man, this fan this card is fantastic. A light in worst case scenario. Again, it could be well father, I guess, for your El Shadal construct. But Shadals definitely want to go second, a go second deck. Um, so I might want to exploit it a bit more. Maybe looking at mind control, instant fusion, maybe. All of those are definitely options. But I wanted to keep the main deck count to 40 cards. But again, like always, feel free to leave feedback about that. Um, so Nibiru again, it, it's fantastic, right? Evenly matched is also one of those cards you might want to tech in the main deck or definitely side deck. So yeah, uh, multiple construct. Construct definitely helps out against salads, against Salomon Greats attacking, attacking over their salad monster and then, you know, the Cataster effect, maybe forcing out the Engrave Veiling, so that definitely helps again. So another construct fueling the Grave. I think I made a... was it, was it in this duel? I made a misclick um, instead of sending a Juggler from my deck to the Graveyard. I think I sent the Trick Clown from my deck to the Graveyard, right? Yeah, I, yeah, indeed. I think I had to correct the, the mistake take earlier, so not getting too much value, or yeah, indeed, too much value out of the damage juggler and trick clown. Uh, I, again, I think in the long run, it, didn't, it wouldn't have mattered that much. The opponent probably would have attacked, uh, or at least on the trick clown, um, during his uh, turn here. So going for Lambda, the generic Link 2, and uh, opening up the extra, two extra monster zones, and the Shadow Fusion is just a ridiculous card again. The fact that it's indirectly searchable with, um, you know, like Construct, send it to the graveyard, or score Mata as well and then get it back with your fusions to immediately use it during the same turn is quite disgusting. Opt to go for Boral Sword and that's where the performance engine can definitely come into play. Uh, you know, damage juggler, trick clown and uh, head trigger as well. An extra body on your side of the field, preferably for Boral Sword or Boreload if you find the space or Nightmare Engine or Unicorn, whatever, to get those pesky monsters from your opponent's side of the field uh, off the field. Or maybe the rank 4 exceed play. I'm looking at the Excited Knight Dweller, maybe Tornado Dragon, depending the matchup. And as you saw in the side deck, there is also the Utopia Package, Utopia Beyond for double or nothing. Definitely an option. Since that's also an option with uh, Super Polarization at 3, I need to find the space, but. And yeah, maybe the extra deck space as well, but triple super polymerization in theory again should be okay here in this deck. Again, using your opponent's lights and or darks and, uh, you know, Winda and uh, Construct. I might want to change the extra deck a little bit, maybe add in, well, depending if I'm running a Super Poly or not, the other um, attribute shadows. but again, that's up to you, right, if you find the space. This is a small mistake on my part here. Definitely should have gone for the El Shadal Fusion first, maybe force out the, what is it called, the Counter Trap, Climax. You know, it probably would have used Climax there, maybe, again, but yeah, then again, I would have threatened it, the, the, the back row, at least one of the back rows, with uh, the Dragon discard. So, again, forcing out 
uh, at least the, the back row, maybe the climax, and but basically a bypassing uh, potential hand trap, uh, mainly Ash Blossom, and that's what he had to negate the follow up uh, Shadow Fusion as well. So that, that, that was a small mistake on my part, and it definitely cost me the duel. I'm not really sure what, what would I have, yeah, other changes, probably again, yeah, I would have had a construct on the field, etc., etc. But that's how it is, that's how it goes, it's fine. Um, so again, yeah, the OTK thanks to Boros Sword. So again, going second, you want to go second, and this opening hand is good. No Nibiru, but um, okay, the regular Shadow Fusion is always nice against basically any deck. Any deck ends with the um, the extra deck or the, the monster special summon from the extra deck. And uh, um, okay, so the double negation again with the Salomon Great. Is it Roar? It's Roar, right? And then the Ash Blossom as well. So Call by the Grave will eventually also get negated. And um, this is a bummer. And of course, one of the big weaknesses of Shadol's no Shadol Fusion spell ready or resolved. And then you're um, like <laughs> you're, you're in, 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 in a, a lot of trouble. That's how I um, wanted to. Uh, th that's what I wanted to say. And. Again, one of the big weaknesses of the of Shadows, that's how it is, right? And that's why you're playing maybe two Hedgehog to potentially get a surge, but 2019 standards getting the flip effect off is quite slow. Drawing a dead beast, that's not going to help. Set the is it Falco? Yeah, Falco could potentially hold off an attack, but yeah, we know that the Stelio indeed will just bounce back the face down, and that's eventually the game over GG well played. So the small mistake, well, mistake, the both fusions being negated or getting negated during the first turn definitely is a big problem still for Shadows. So again, uh, like other options, uh, other engines to somewhat combat that are solved, this uh, weakness can definitely, uh, you know, like feel free to leave them down below. Again, the Sanctum engine into sight might be uh, okay, but feels much better if going first, no? Anyway, so Nibiru, <laughs> huge Nibiru, this was actually a good tool. So Foolish Burial for the Juggler immediately giving me the extra light, potentially opening up an extra, um, I guess, rank 4 exceed play, but I don't really see a rank 4 exceed needed here in this matchup, maybe Dweller, but that doesn't really seem too strong, especially because of, you know, I'm playing Shadows and I really can't protect Dweller. So a uh, Construct definitely helps out attacking over the token, the big token immediately using the Catastrophe effect, destroying it, and then tributing, tributing the Construct to get back the El Shadol Fusion and again threatening the opponent with the win. Again, in theory, should be fantastic, like discarding Avian the Thunderbird to uh, special summon something and then chain your El Shadol Fusion to get Winda on the field and basically block your opponent from special summoning. But yeah, I kind of was forced to preemptively because of the, the Chaos Boss monster. What is it called? You know which one I mean, the level 8 one. I kind of was forced to preemptively go for Winda and, uh, you know, give him eventually the target to attack over it. And um, yeah, yeah, just prevent him from, you know, establishing his board, maybe going for the Boral Sword OTK, even though with me having multiple monsters, but, um... So yeah, anyway, Appaloosa is going to negate the draw, and uh, Titan, Titan is fine, not really that big of a deal. The Trick Clown here, my side of the field, is the extra light needed, and I'm still very much alive in the duel. Thanks to Construct, I can, uh, you know, arrange the chain links so that Construct will send the regular Shadow Fusions from my deck to the graveyard, attacking over the Appaloosa, and then during main phase 2, make my generic link 2. Getting back the Shadow Fusion, and and again, this is winning position, game winning here. Sh setting up Falco as well for next turn, getting the El Shadow Fusion back, so pretty, pretty much setting up uh, a potential uh, win again during the opponent's turn with Falco and Construct. My last fusion in the extra deck being that one of Winda, but he has an Ibiru on his own, and I'm like, oh my god, that's terrible. Well, and I, I, I think I'm still in the duel, but I'm going to make a small mistake, as you'll be seeing within the next couple of moments. Okay, Falco is going to trigger, and the Construct is definitely going to threaten him, and here I definitely should have used or activated my core, you know, um, and going for the... Well, if he went for Unicorn to try to bounce back the Construct, could have gone for the Winda special summon, and then eventually suicide or whatever, and then, you know, etc, etc, but... Ah, it, 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 this is a problem. My my whole engine, my whole engine is it is uh, already in the graveyard, and I have no way to uh, well, basically, if any follow up, please. Maybe the Shadow Structure deck might change this. As you know, the Shadow Structure deck was a winner of the poll a couple of weeks ago in the OCG, so it might be revealed maybe next week, very soon. I feel I'm not really sure what the correct release date of the Shadow Structure deck will be, but uh, I've read that somewhere we'll be getting like leaks, maybe next week or the week after that so again anxiously awaiting the new Shadol support 
maybe a new link monster, much better link monster or whatever. Yeah, maybe a new fusion or support engine a searcher might be uh, might be cool. Uh, so again, like always, feel free to leave suggestions. The, the, the card here in the extra deck that I'm probably leaning the most towards to is Super Polymerization and Main Deck. But again, definitely, hell, well, it depends on the matchup and of course the format as well. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a card or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out. Peace.